This lesson is going to be on the save as command and there are some very interesting things about how to use the save as command and how it functions with work sharing files that are set up in Revit. To start off I am actually in the open command and this file right here is my architectural central file. Now one thing that you can notice is that when it's selected this checkbox create new local is automatically selected. What that does is creates a save as and makes a new local copy of the file underneath my C drive underneath local Revit files. So I'm going to hit open and through the magic of video editing my file will magically be opened. Quick enough, right? Okay, well let's go verify that. I am going to the application menu, open, project. I am just going to navigate to my local. There you can see that my architectural file with my username is appended to the end of it. Let's say that you're not sure what your username is or you need to change it. This is where you do that. Go back to the application menu, go to options. Underneath the general tab you can get to your username right here. I recommend changing that but only if you need to and not while you have a file that's currently open. Well, let's say that I saved this in a different directory than what I wanted to. Go to save as again. Now remember I'm in a local file. If I go to project, I can create a new directory, save it in a new area, and my new local file is going to point back to my central file just like my current one does. Now let's say that I want to recreate my central file. If I go to options and check this, make this a central file after saving, that recreates or reestablishes a new central file. I also have the option of checking compact file which basically is almost like a disk defragmenter for your file. Now what that does is just going to make saving a little slower the first time but it will speed things up slightly in your consecutive saves.